DJ here with Achieve Peak, and this is a 10 minute warm up routine. This warm up routine can be used as a standalone uh, warm up routine that you might be able to do in the mornings to get your day going, or as a pre workout warm up routine. It's 12 exercises performed all in a row. We're just going to do one set of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 10 seconds. Our first nine exercises are focused on flexibility and mobility, and then our final three exercises are more focused on increasing our heart rate and warming the muscles up to get us going. So you may need a mat for this warm-up routine. We have about 10 seconds uh, until we get started. Our first one that we're going into is trunk twist. You don't, actually don't need a mat for that. I just want to bring it closer. So get our feet nice and wide. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start rotating like this, warming up the core. Here we go. So just coming back and forth right here, nice and easy at first. And then as the time counts down, we're going to start getting those hips moved, pivot at that back foot, really start trying to open everything up, turn a little further back. Here we go. Start feeling that core warm up, feel that back loosen up. If you want, you can kind of lean on that front foot a little more. Do about 10 seconds. There we go. Feeling my vertebrae pop there. Feel good. All right, so our next one we're going to is just a half lateral lunge. So keep those feet wide. We're only dropping down a little bit, just kind of feeling everything out right here. Here we go. So just dropping down, feeling it stretch. There we go. Feeling everything warm up. Take note of uh, any pains or stiffness that you might have that you might need to work out before you get started for the rest of the day. <sighs> kind of hang on there. If you want, you can kind of try to push those hips forward a little bit, feeling it a little bit more in the groin here. You can also lean forward, feel it more in the glutes. And when I say lean forward, it's happening at the hips, not at the lower back. So I can really feel in that hamstring. I kind of pulled that hamstring a while back so I can really feel it. All right, so next we're going into leg swing. So you may need to hold on to a wall. I'm just gonna start off with a nice, simple leg swing right here like that, and then we'll switch it halfway. Here we go. So just nice and easy, feeling it come back. Go forward, so as you kick back, you're going to feel it in the front hip flexion. As you come up, you're going to feel it in that hamstring. If you want to feel it a little more in the calf, keep your toe pointed up, not like that. All right, so we're going to switch sides. Here we go, so turn around. Here we go. Woo! We need to feel it in that hamstring. Again, we're not, we're not trying to go crazy. Really kick it back and really kick it forward. Just trying to warm everything up. Increase that mobility right now. Let that joint know it's about to be used. There we go. So we're going to go back into a nice little wide stance. If you want to put a mat in between your legs right now, might be a good idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn, come into that hip flexion. You may want to drop down. If you want, come back up, rotate, drop down, push forward. We're not sitting in that position though. We're just kind of Pushing down, coming back out. Dropping down, push forward, come back out. There we go. If you want to stay with your knee off the ground, you can. If you want to put your arms up, as you come down, that's fine too. Really feel it in the psoas right here. There we go. All right, next one in. The chest opener, so we're just trying to open up that chest. And I like to do is kind of come across. If you want to come across, you can do a little back stretch and alternate each arm. So open up that chest, feel it stretching out, warming it up. Again, we're not trying to crank it back super hard. Just pull it back, letting it stretch out, bring it back, stretch the back. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Warming up everything. Letting it know it's about time to go to work. Could be real work or it could be a workout. Who knows? <laughs> 15 seconds left. There we go. Starting to feel good. Warming up. I can feel it. If you want, you can kind of roll those arms around. 
All right, so next we're gonna drop down. We're gonna do a down dog to cobra pose. So we're gonna start right here like this, get a calf stretch on each leg, one, two, and then drop down into cobra. Feel that core stretch out, and then come back up. A little stretch, stretch. So I'm alternating calves real quick. Coming back down, stretching out the core, coming back. Driving those shoulders down. There we go. Stretch those calves out. I think downward dog is probably one of my most favorite stretches. There we go. All right. Next, we're going into piriformis stretch. So we're actually going to stay on the ground here. Legs out, take one leg, cross it over. From here, I like to kind of wrap my arm around it so I can pull it. And then we're turning into that leg right here. We're not going like this. We're going this way. We're turning into the leg and then using this arm to pull, to pull it close. There we go, so switch sides. Someone else having lower back problems? I'm in this stretch with my go-to within a matter of days. My lower back pain went away. I just kind of squeeze it up there, really pull it, and then turn. Got a great stretch. All right, so we're going to go into a quad stretch. So we're going to go into a seated saddle. So we're just going to try to sit right here like this. If this is a little too tough, I want you to be here like this. And then try to just sit back. And then if you can sit back great and then slowly try to sit all the way up. If you can't do this, you may want to grab like a chair or a bench. And then what you can do is actually go like this. And just do one at a time for 20 seconds. Just kind of lean back, try to keep those hips straight. We don't want to be bent over. So I'm just going to switch this real quick. Oh, missed it. There we go. So a couple options on that quad stretch. There we go. We're going to stand up. We're going to go into a hamstring stretch. So I'm going to do each leg separate. So a little bit of a split stance, back leg bent, front leg just about straight. You can have it fully straight if you want. I actually like to keep just a slight bend in it. Lower back straight. So lower back straight, bending at the hips. Feel that hamstring stretch out. If you want to go straight leg you certainly can another option is to put your toe up in the air you can feel it more in your calf at that point switch it up remember to keep that back nice and straight there we go don't forget to breathe so we're about to go in our final three exercises more uh more focused on increasing heart rate we go. So we're just going to go into a nice little boxer shuffle, kind of alternating our weight on each leg, just like that. Here we go. So it's just nice, easy steps. Even if you're on a second story or whatever, you're just kind of bouncing from one foot to the other. You don't actually have to be like completely hopping in the air and uh, possibly waking up your downstairs neighbor. Here we go. So if you want to kind of Raise the roof a little bit. You could get a little bit of shoulder mobility and warm up going on there. There we go. Warming up those calves, letting those knees know. Don't forget to breathe. All right, now we're going to go into alternating lateral lunges, full range of motion. Come all the way down, all the way up, switch sides. There we go, so coming down, keep your weight in your heels, there we go, going a little faster here, notice how I'm not bending like this, I'm keeping that back nice and straight, if I do lean forward, it's just happening at the hips, not at my back, so if you want to speed it up, you can, if you want to go nice and slow, just drop it nice and low, that's totally fine too, In there. there we go. Oh, I got one more on this side. 
Alright, here we go. Next we're going to seal jack. So it's like a jumping jack, except we're starting, starting with our arms out and then it's actually like this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like this. So instead of up and down, we're going forwards and backwards. I knew something went wrong there. There we go. If that's too tough, just go like this for low impact version. Low impact doesn't mean low intensity though. There we go. Just like that. Don't forget to breathe. 10 seconds. Open up that chest. There we go. A little 10 minute warm up complete. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our other workouts and programs that we have available. See you guys.